In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Forms Digital Listening Center. What's a Google Forms Digital Listening Center? Let's see. In this example, you see that I have a YouTube video. It's a read aloud of a popular children's text embedded in the Google Form. Now, I like Google Forms for young learners because I know that even little ones know what that button does. They can push play. Jamie Aurora. And watch the YouTube video right here embedded in this form. Now, I can do this from most any device, whether or not I have a Google login. So I watch the video. And from there, I can uh, have a couple questions. The first one, of course, being what is your name? Even our young learners can benefit from practicing typing their name. We may even teach them how to use the shift key to make a capital letter. After that, we have some very simple questions. This is, did you like this book? And I noticed that with the emoji present, even students who don't have the literacy to answer the question yes or no, know that they can select the one that represents how they feel about the text. After that, if I have slightly older learners, I may also offer some additional options here. Like this is a text to self-reflection. In this example, the students are supposed to take something from the story and reflect on, upon something that is similar in their life. So I can create a Google Forms Digital Listening Center. Let's learn how. I'm gonna start by opening a new tab. And for me, the easiest way to do this is just forms.forms.new. That brings up a brand new listening center. Brand new Google Form for my listening center. And I'm going to title my file. I'm going to type in here DLC. For me, that stands for Digital Listening Center. It helps me find it in my Google Drive. And I'm going to make this one about Pete the cat. Who doesn't love Pete the cat? When I click here, I see the title copies over. And I've got my form titled. I'm going to put my first question in here. And I'm just going to type in name. And I noticed that the Google AI already figured out that it's going to be a short answer question because what is your name is typically something where we have a short response. I do have other answer options here from which I can choose, but this is a short answer question and I want it to be required. Step one done. Now I want to add a video. And I notice in my menu bar over here that one of my options says add video. That's easy enough. I'll select add video. And now I'm going to search for Pete the cat. Of course, I'm going to have very, very good digital citizenship here, and I'm going to make sure that the video I choose is something I watch from start to finish. I've seen this one before, so I'll go ahead and select it and put it in my form. When it comes in here, this is an editor, and I can't play it yet, but when I go into preview mode, I will be able to. I'm going to select this and resize it to make it as large as possible for my learner's little eyeballs. Now I want to add that question, did you like the book? To add a new item, I'll press the plus sign and that adds a question. I will type my question here. Did you like this book? And you can see again, the Google AI is at work and it's trying to predict what my answers might be. I'll type in yes, and I add another option and that's selected no. Now I wanna make sure I add those images as answer choices here. So I'll click on this one. I'll do the Google image search and I'll turn in happy emoji. Alrighty, awesome. I'll select, insert, and then repeat for no. I'll hover my cursor over the item, find the mountain icon, select, search, sad emoji, select, insert, we're good. Now I wanna make this a required question because I wanna make sure that my learners have to fill this out before uh, they hit submit. So I'll make that required as well. So now I have my listing center. I could add additional questions by hitting the plus sign here, but I also wanna see what this looks like. Up here at the top, I have my preview eyeball. When I press the preview eyeball, it shows me what the finished form looks like. Type your name, play the video right inside the form without leaving to go to another window and answer the question. So that's the basics of how to create a Google Form Digital Listening Center. Now, if I wanna make it fancy, I have this palette icon here, which will allow me to change the color but just so you know, up here, there are a bunch more options for how you can format this to make it uh, even more engaging for your young learners. So there are the basics on how to create a Google Form Digital Listening Center for your young learners, regardless of what device they use, and also even if they don't sign into Google accounts. Enjoy what you create.